So if you want to buy a house this summer, you may have a tough time. Yeah, demand from buyers is strong, despite the fact that prices for homes are rising. And it is a tight housing market here in the Twin Cities. If you haven't been looking, you might be shocked at just mm -hmm. how tight it is. At the end of April, there were only about 9,200 houses for sale mm -hmm. in the entire 13-county metro area market. Yeah. That is a, a decades low. It is. I mean, it's half the houses that were up for sale right before the housing crash. I mean, that's to put it in perspective. Right, it is. right. Usually you see around 20,000 yeah. houses for mm -hmm. sale. And, you know, I mean, Allie, you guys were just on the uh, positive end of this. Your mm -hmm. fiancé just sold us. We were. We're closing in a couple of weeks. So well, we're hoping everything yeah. goes according <laughs> to plan. But, yes, we we saw a ton of people viewing our home a couple days before we put it on the market. And then when we put the house on the market, the first three days, I believe there were 30 showings. And then we had two offers within three days of putting the house this on the market. St. Louis Park. St. Louis Park, mm -hmm. starter house. Starter right. house, uh, under 300. Under right. 300,000. And But that's the problem. There aren't any houses in that price range. So yeah. you see all these people desperate looking for a home, and there just aren't any available. And there aren't a lot of homes available in that second range. Because if you think about it, the starter home, every home is going up. So mm -hmm. people are scared to move out of their home because they're scared that they won't find another reasonably priced home to move into. You'd see that, yeah. Molly. I mean, you would never. Uh, I don't want to sell my place. Right. Um, it's the first home I've owned. It's a loft, and the uh, property values have gone up so much northeast. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm just going to hold on to it. And then also, yeah. I wonder how this affects the rental market because, mm -hmm. I mean, everything is blowing up northeast. There's so many properties going up high rises. Well, I've certainly noticed this too with the mid level price ranges of houses. You see them on the market for a lot longer because the demand isn't there compared to that $300,000 and under right. level range. Mm -hmm. We were looking at houses in the middle price point and we see them on the market still when we were looking at them, some of them even in February. Right. Mm -hmm. Making things more challenging right. is the fact that mortgage rates are up. We're at about 4.66%. For a 30 year loan, which is still very, awesome, very low. Let's be real. Yeah. Uh, but it is the highest in seven years, and economists expect this to go up to five and a half, maybe closer to six. Which would make a big difference, because then you're talking about, you know, several hundred dollars more a month, a month there right. with, with that. So some people are saying, well, even though the rates might go higher, maybe you should wait until 2018, 2019, when perhaps these prices will start coming back down yeah, when you look you at the, when you look at what homes are going it. for molly i mean some of these you're like no way that i yeah. would pay that kind of mm -hmm. money it's insane i mean really and people well, are writing I, letters different things like that well Did i was going to say so we, we had a letter to us drew is really big into biking he has five bikes in his garage mm -hmm. and we had an offer letter and it was like hello mr showalter I really like that you're into bikes. I'm actually into biking a lot too. <laughs> Probably not as much as you, but Trying we to really relate think to Drew. That yeah. this could be our home for the future. Well, and I thought it was the sweetest letter. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Yeah. But I have some friends right. in Egan who just sold their house. It is also kind of it's priced in the lower end of the bracket. Yeah. But they got a bunch of letters, and they said it made a difference. Like they wanted to leave the house in good hands. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. I, I yeah. honestly, when I read it's that letter, sweet. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I really, I was like, oh, Drew, did you see the letter? I he didn't care. Would you care? I don't know I if I've ever thought really about that. Yeah. Yeah. Writing a letter is pretty I common think, now. I think if your <laughs> home is, is important it. to you yes. and you, you want, want it to be in good hands, like you said, Jason, it makes sense. You don't want someone to come tear it down. No.